Hello and welcome back to the 15 day challenge. My name is Kaylin. Today's practice is day 10, which will focus on the lower body. So let's dive right into it and get started. Come on down to the floor and find a tabletop, hands and knees, all fours. Walking your hands underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips, start to press up out of the floor, grounding down into the palms and the knees and gaze past the fingers. From here, start to pick the right knee up off the floor, bring the right heel up towards the sky and then start to open it out to the right and then back down to the floor. So you're just drawing some circles here with the knee. See if you can stabilize through your shoulders and keep gazing forward. Do it one more time and then reverse it. Go out, around, and down. So we're starting to juice up the hips while maintaining the upper body. One more. And then come back to center. Lower the right knee down. Pick the left knee up. You're doing the same thing. Big, giant circles with that knee. Warming up the hips, stabilizing through the core, through the shoulders. One more circle. And then reverse it, going down, out, and around. Diving into this side here. And then slowly bring your knees back down onto the floor. Tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Pike your hips up to the sky. So first down dog here, adjust as needed. Spread the fingers wide, pedal out the legs. See if you can soften your neck and your head. Bringing the gaze back and then find some Stillness here. Bring the feet hip distance apart. Press into the palms. Stick your booty way up into the sky. Take a big breath in. Big breath out. One more in. And one more out. Inhale, roll forward to plank position. Child's pose. Drop your knees and tuck your toes. Allow your hips and your heels to meet so you start to stretch out those hips. Take a big breath in here. And a big exhale. Gaze forward, come to tabletop, hands and knees, all fours. And then step the right foot in between your hands, a big giant lunge. Walk your hands up to the top of the thigh and start to open up from your chest. So the hips might start to feel a little tighter, a little bit more open, wherever they are though today, kind of juice them up with a few sways up and back, getting into the hips. Breathing in and breathing out. Pause here in center. Sweep your arms back by your sides. Open up from your heart and your chest, reaching from the fingertips. One more inhale and one more exhale. Release your hands back down around the right foot. Tuck your left toes and pick your left knee up off the mat. When you're ready, your arms are going to come out in front of your shoulders, plugging the shoulders down and back and grounding down into your legs. Breathe in here and breathe out. Lower your left knee down to the floor to a hover, but pressing into the right foot. Then start to lengthen out your legs and sit up tall. Same thing, bending down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, down. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, stay down, hands to the floor. Lengthen out the left knee if it's not already. Roll your shoulders down and back and open up from your chest. Right arm reaches up to the sky for a twist. Gaze down, circle your right hand back to the floor. Warrior two, pivot the left heel, come all the way up to stand. Readjust the right toes really in front of your left leg. Shoulders on top of the hips and chest stays open. Taking a breath in and taking a breath out. Start to stretch the right leg. Triangle, right hand down, left arm. Let's bring it to your hip today. Opening up from your chest and squeezing the shoulder back. Take an inhale and take an exhale. When you're ready, left arm can come up to the sky. Gaze down, circle it down to the floor and step to the top of the mat. Left foot joins right foot. Inhale, halfway lengthen out the spine. Exhale, bend and fold. One more, inhale, lengthen it out. Exhale, bend and fold. Inhale, rise, stand up, sweep the arms up with you. Hands to prayer, exhale, heart center. Feet come to touch, bend the knees, find a chair pose, sit your hips down. We're reaching the shoulders out, uh, arms out in front of the shoulders one more time like that. Big breath in. On your exhale, you're gonna sit down a little bit lower. <sighs> Inhale, stand up, sweep your arms by your sides, open up your heart. Exhale, sweep your arms out in front of your shoulders. Inhale, stand and squeeze the glutes. Exhale, down. <sighs> Last one, inhale, stand. Exhale, stay down, shoulders roll down, take a big breath in. Exhale, forward fold over the legs. 
Inhale, lengthen out your spine halfway. Exhale, plant your palms. Come back to downward facing dog. Hips can stay high. Roll forward to plank position. Inhale. Child's pose. Drop your knees and tuck your toes. Send your hips and your heels to meet. Allowing the hips to become heavy. Allow your head to become heavy. And then gaze forward. Return to tabletop. Hands and knees, all fours. We're stepping the left foot in front of you into a lunge, walking your hands up toward the thigh, dropping your tailbone under, shoulders on top. Take a breath in. Exhale, start to juice up those hips on the side. Little lift of the hips. Exhale, soften. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Fly your arms back by your sides. Open up from your chest and reach from your fingertips while maintaining the core. One more breath. Exhale, hands come to the floor. Tuck the right toes, pick your right knee up, nice and strong. Arms come out in front of your shoulders as you lift the chest. Readjust the hips so they're scissoring together, and then bend your right knee down to a hover. Inhale, stretch the legs and lift up tall. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Exhale, bend, stay down here, hands to the floor, lengthen out the right leg, right arm down, left arm high, twist. Gaze down, we're circling it back to the floor. Come to warrior two, pivot the right heel down. Inhale, windmill up to stand, right arm in the back, left arm in the front, ground down into those hips. Take a nice breath in, take a nice exhale. Inhale, stretch the left leg. Hips shift back, triangle, left hand down. Right hand, we're coming to the hip again. Shoulder blades together as you open up from your right shoulder, your chest, your heart, and you're rooting into the legs. Take a breath and an exhale. Right arm can come up to the sky. Let's circle it down to the floor and step to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, stand up, sweep the arms up. Hands to prayer, exhale, heart center. We're back through that chair pose, toes forward, hips back, arms out in front of your shoulders. Opening up from the heart, finding those stable legs, core is engaged, one breath in. Exhale, sit down a little bit lower. Inhale, rise, arms come by your sides, Tadasana. Exhale, sit back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, down. One more, inhale, up. Exhale, stay down on your breath in. Exhale, dive it forward, forward, fold. Inhale, lengthen out your spine halfway. Plant the palms, come back to downward facing dog. Hips up high. Right leg will float up and back for a three-legged down dog. Bend the right knee, open up the right hip. Just like we did on the knee, we're gonna circle out that right knee going up and around, maintaining the upper body, nice and strong, reverse it, go the other direction, around and over, and then extend the right leg up long, step the right foot in between your hands, step your left foot to join, come to the top of the mat, inhale halfway, exhale fold, inhale rise, stand up, sweep up, hands to prayer, exhale heart center. So testing out the balance, root down into your left foot, bring the right knee up into your chest. Right ankle to the top of the left thigh, figure four as you sit your hips back. So find that balance, hip bones back behind you, soften down and then maybe take those arms back by your sides like we've done a few times already. Big breath in, big breath out. One more in. On your axle, stand up, right knee up into your chest, inhale. Exhale, foot comes down, forward fold all the way over. Inhale, lengthen out your spine halfway. Exhale, soft knees, step your left foot back about halfway to pyramid. Left toes can turn out a bit, right toes stay forward. Inhale, lengthen out your spine. On your exhale, whether your hands are on the leg or the floor, you're gonna kinda walk to the right and fold without letting your hips go with you. You're still grounding into the legs. And that's a slight fold to the right. Let's breathe in and breathe out. One more in and one more out. Inhale, lengthen it out, walk your hands back in front of you, soften the knees, step back downward facing dog. Let's pause for a breath and an exhale. 
left leg will float up and back, three-legged down dog. Bend the knee, open up the hip, give your heel a squeeze, keep the shoulder squared, and then circle out that leg. Right elbow stays nice and strong. Let's reverse it, go around and over the other way. Good, and then lengthen out the leg nice and long behind you. Step the foot in between your hands and the right foot joins. So just come to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, stand up, sweep the arms with you. Hands to prayer, exhale. Right foot stays grounded, left knee comes up into your chest. Half of your chair, figure four, the leg, so left ankle to the top of the thigh. Allow the hips to sit back, opening up from your outer hips, and maybe you fly the arms back by the sides, reaching from your fingertips. Big breath in, big breath out. One more in, and one more out. Inhale, bring your left knee up into your chest, flex your toes. Exhale, place the foot down, and then dive it on forward. Inhale, lengthen out your spine halfway. Exhale, hands down, step the right foot about halfway back to pyramid. So your right toes will kind of turn to the right. Left toes stay nice and forward. Inhale, lengthen out, pressing the left hip back. We're taking that small fold to the left while rooting down into your right leg while keeping the left foot exactly where it is. Big breath in, big breath out. One more in and one more out. Walk your way back into center. Soften the hands to the floor and step back to downward facing dog. Roll forward to plank position, inhale. Child's pose, drop your knees, let them go a little wider, toes together, and allow the upper body to come in between the knees. So really getting into those hips. The sway feels nice, maybe you take a small sway. Letting the upper body start to become heavy. Let's take another inhale and another exhale. And stay low, walk your hands up and toward your knees. Roll over to one side and have a seat. So we did the standing, we're taking the balance element away. Walk your hands back behind you. Right ankle to the top of the left thigh, then start to press open from your heart. The butt bones are grounded. The further your hands and your hips are from each other and the left leg, the less you'll feel it, but you'll still get a great stretch. If you do want more, walk your hands in closer and walk your left foot in closer. But I want you to try to keep a tall spine, not dumping all the way into the palms. So you're still opening up from your hips. Let's breathe in and breathe out. One more in and one more out. Okay, slowly release that down. Shake out your legs. Open out to a straddle. So legs go long out to the sides. Let's flex your feet, send your hips back. Stay tall or walk it forward. So just getting even in between the hips, softening into the inner thighs a moment and your hip flexors. Big breath in and big breath out. Good. And take your time here, no rush. Come all the way back up. You can hop your legs back in toward each other. And let's switch out sides. Hands come back behind you, bend your knees, place your feet down to the floor. It's the left ankle to the top of the thigh. Open up from your hips and your heart, ground down to kind of lift. Big breath in, big breath out. One more in and one more out. Good. Take that extra moment, kind of lift up a little bit taller, and then let's unwind, leg can come down, and then shake it out. Easy peasy, good. Flex your feet, walk your feet a little bit wider than your hips. We'll take our final fold, just walking the body. So it's a baby straddle here. Big inhale, exhale, fold. Last one in. And last, exhale, fold, fold, fold. Roll your way all the way up. Let's cross your legs, sit up nice and tall, reach your arms up, breath in. Energy is with you, keeping that connection down into the heart, thanking yourself for tuning in for day 10. You have done it. We have five more days left of the challenge. So excited you're on this journey with me and I hope to see you tomorrow.